Hello everyone, today I want to talk about mapping the fingerboard. This is something very very useful of course for all of us string players and I'm gonna give you a couple tips on how I work on it so maybe you can apply it to yourself. For example, how do I work on this passage? How do I create a very clear picture of that area in the fingerboard? I'm gonna do three things. I'm gonna do double stops. I'm going to change the order of the notes that I'm playing. And I'm gonna play up and down scales. So if the passage goes downwards, like in this case, I'm going to play upwards. So. I'm going to play the notes in different orders. I'm going to play double stops. And something else you might want to do is try to play all the notes in that position. So not only the notes that you need to play in the passage. So So like this, playing every note in that position, playing the notes in random orders, playing double stops, suddenly you know that area, you know where is every note, with which finger do I play which note. So when you're reading new pieces, when you're playing a very hard passage or, or a new passage, suddenly the fingers know where to go. For example, I was struggling before with um, with one part of the third Beethoven sonata and I use this kind of way of practicing. First, well this has an added difficulty that it has a little change, a little shift. Um, for this kind of shift I always try to look for references. In this case the reference I can use two always two better than one, right? So first reference is the first finger, you know, this kind of finding when I, when I write to this note, I know that the third finger is going to be in tune, so another reference I have is the thumb. So how do I work on this? Same as before. So if, if you do these two, three things, then that position, the passage, it just becomes crystal clear. You know, and there is nothing worse than be doubting every finger, you know, where it is, where it... So working like this, very simple, very effective and very fast way of improving. Um, I just was practicing on this before and I thought of doing this tutorial for you guys. Maybe it helps. I hope it does and happy practicing, see you guys in the next one.